Now, there was real disappointment for Britain's rhythmic gymnasts this week. On Tuesday, they missed the mark required to prove they're good enough to compete at this year's London Olympics, but they did reach it on Wednesday. Too late, though, according to British Gymnastics' own rules. But there have been calls to let them qualify anyway, with former England footballer Gary Lineker even getting behind the cause. No such concerns, though, for one Welsh gymnast. 21-year-old Frankie Jones expects the Olympic call in the individual event, and she's been speaking to our reporter Cathy Williams. It's a great moment for her. She's promised so much at world level, European level, and here she is on the Commonwealth Rostrum. Wales have been such a support. They've taken me to abroad competitions and Commonwealth Games. It was one of the proudest moments of my life. Definitely the best experience in gymnastics I've had so far. Last year, 2011, you got your qualification score for London 2012 and obviously that must be a huge relief. Yeah definitely, like I was training very very hard ready for that and then it was definitely a relief to finally do that. The competition was such pressure and it was really really afterwards so much emotion. I'm Lisa Higgins from the City of Birmingham Gymnastics Club. It doesn't matter that Frank is at the top and has been everywhere already. She's still in the gym with the little kids. She'll help the little ones going along, whether they've got you know all the talent in the world or just a child that comes once a week. You know, so for our sport to have an ambassador like that, that's so friendly and encouraging to all the children, that is really good. And obviously, to be at the Olympics and know that our sport is actually there and recognised is fantastic for all of us. Will you be like a proud mum watching her? Oh yes, a very nervous proud mum, but I will be. I'll be a deputy mother. <laughs> 2009, the funding got stopped. Explain to me how your life changed, because you had to move back home, didn't you? Yeah, it was very, very tough, like, especially the first how many months I didn't have a clue what I was doing. Like, the gym club where I live is too small and it's not open enough hours and I can't throw my apparatus high enough, so it was just really, really worried that I wouldn't possibly be able to keep up the standard that I needed. Um, and then luckily I was allowed to go and train in Birmingham and they all welcomed me to train there. Did you at any point think of giving up on your dream? I never thought of giving up but I was extremely worried that it wouldn't be possible because of outside factors but I was so so happy to find and be able to work again because there was a few months originally when I went back home that I was just like struggling so much and with funding I've struggled the whole time but I'm so glad to have managed and coped through it. And here you are looking ahead to 2012, a few months away. When did you first set sight on 2012? When did you think I could be there? I never really believed it could be possible until maybe last year when I was literally qualifying. Always it was just Commonwealth Games was my goal and I tend to do smaller goals like just the one that's in front of me and baby steps to everyone and then now finally the baby step is to the Olympics. I can't believe it. It's just crazy. Have you thought about what it would be like to compete in the Wembley Arena in front of 6,000 people? It's going to be a phenomenal atmosphere, like the fact that it's in this country. I, it was really strange having a competition in this country at all, like the last one I just did. And it's just going to be such a special atmosphere, I can't wait. And good luck to Frankie too. Cathy Williams with that report there.